If a force is applied to an object in a system with a pivot, the object will experience a turning effect called a moment. So here are some systems that contain a pivot. On the first one, the people will be moving around this pivot, so the moment will be around that pivot. In the example of a door, at the point of the hinges is where we have the pivot. And in this system below, we've got one pivot here, and we've also got a pivot at the, the back here. So if there is a pivot in a system, and you're applying a force to an object, it will experience a turning effect called a moment. The moment, the turning effect, could be clockwise, so in this direction, or anti-clockwise, which would be in the opposite direction. This is the equation to calculate the moment. Moment equals force times distance. The units for force are newtons. The units for distance are meters. So therefore, the units for moment are newton meters. Because if you have a look in our equation, we've multiplied force by distance. So our units for moment are showing that we're multiplying the force by the distance. So if you have a bigger distance from the pivot, you will experience a bigger moment. That is why, for example, our door handles are positioned furthest away from the pivot. And it's the reason why we would use long handled bars to be able to move heavy objects, just like in this diagram. Or you could perhaps think of using a screwdriver to try and open the lid of a tin of paint. You'd want a screwdriver with a very long handle so that you are increasing the distance from the pivot. So now we're going to use this moment equation to calculate the moments either side of the pivot and work out which direction this seesaw will move in. So when calculating moments we need to calculate either side of the pivot. So we need to look at the right hand side of the pivot where we've got a person with a weight of 500 newtons two meters from the pivot and then we need to look at the left hand side of the pivot where we've got a person with a weight of 600 newtons who is positioned two meters away. So for each side we calculate the moment. So first of all we'll calculate the clockwise moment and we put our numbers into the equation 500 newtons multiplied by two meters will give us a moment of 1000 newton meters. And now for the anti-clockwise moment, 600 newtons multiplied by 2 meters will give us an anti-clockwise moment of 1200 newton meters. So as you can see, there is a greater moment, a greater turning effect on the anti-clockwise moment. So we can conclude that the anti-clockwise moment is larger than the clockwise moment and the seesaw will move anti-clockwise. So this person will go down and this person would be lifted up. So now's your turn. Pause the video and work out the clockwise and anti-clockwise moments and see if you can work out which way the seesaw will turn. So we need to work out the moment either side of the pivot. So for the clockwise moment, we do our force times distance and we get a moment of 900 newton meters and for the anti-clockwise moment we would get a moment of 1350 newton meters so again in this system the anti-clockwise moment is larger than the clockwise moment the seesaw will move anti-clockwise so again this person would go down and this person would move upwards now I'll pause the video and have a go at this next example so the clockwise moment would be the force times distance, which would be 900 newton meters on the clockwise side. And the anti-clockwise moment would be also 900 newton meters. So we can conclude that the anti-clockwise moment is equal to the clockwise moment. So the seesaw is in equilibrium. The seesaw is balanced. There won't be movement up and down on either side because the moments are the same the seesaw will stay the same position and will be balanced 
And this equilibrium is linked to the law of moments, which states that when an object is in equilibrium, the sum of the clockwise moments equals the sum of the anti-clockwise moments. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.